If, you, if he's anticipating, feel free to ride coaching aids. You can bend them more, you can keep your weight to the outside more, whatever works for you. Good, just prevent, prevent the mistake. Doesn't have to look good right now, just prevent the mistake. If he's really good, then have it look good. Ah, it's okay. Good. And right now, I would coach him with the left leg. I would kind of hold him around the cannon with the left leg. Now I would be in rhythm again. Good. And just flex him to the right if he's anticipating. Now start to hold him again with your left leg. Don't be in rhythm with your left leg. Hold him with the left leg. Say, stay on my left leg. Stay on my left leg. Stay on my left leg. Now rhythm again with your leg and more bend if he's anticipating. Good. One more line. Hold him with your left leg. Diagonal. Good boy. Now just some nice forward and back again. Just play with him. Yeah, that he's adjustable. Good. A beautiful back. Alyssa, excellent. I like this. Good job. Super. Back to trot. And swinging. Good. Change sides. And we'll pick up the left lead canter. Take your time. And let's pick up the canter from the walk. Good. Good. All right, Alyssa. Super. And just do it. Just do it. And right. Yeah, good. Try not to over-prepare that, okay? The more you think, the more he thinks. And I don't want him to think. I want him to just say, it's walk. When's that signal? And then he just canters. Good. You maybe want to own that a little too much. I'd rather you just relax and trust what's going to happen. I'd rather you fix the mistake than coach him too much to avoid the mistake. Good. Now, most important is his mind and his confidence, so feel free to coach him. It doesn't have to look good right now. I just want success. You can flex him more. You can keep your weight to the outside of the horse more. Hold him with your right leg. Hold him with your right leg. Your right leg is his balance. Hold him with his right, your right leg. So, now, breathing leg. Good. Good job. One more short side like that. Good. Well done. Diagonal. And a little forward and back. And collect them a little. Beautiful left canter. I love your right rein. You got it. There's your canter. Now that I'm excited about. I think the counter canter actually helped him a little bit. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm very happy with that today. Good. Okay, back to trot. Swinging back. Nice, nice, nice. Super. A couple of transitions within the trot that it's just easy to adjust the tempo a little bit. Good. That the dance continues and never working. Good. And out. Beautiful. Good. And come back a little bit again. And out. Good job. Oh. And then a nice walk transition. And long rain. Wonderful. Really good. Yeah, really good. I'm very, very excited about the walk right now. You, you got it, okay? You got it. Really good. We'll let him catch his breath for a minute and just relax, and then we'll pick him up. We'll do a little bit more trot, and then I'd love to see how he does. It's always important to me to see the walk pirouette in this stage of life the way it is from the test. Yeah? Because it's not the correct read if we do it from the walk versus the trot, how it's done in that dumb test. Off the record, dumb test. I don't know what they were drinking the night they made that test. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And the five-year-old preliminary test is even worse. It's ridiculous. You hope that your horse has a really good left lead canter. You don't really care about the right lead canter because you only canter about 20 strides on the right lead. And you're done. Literally. It's fun when you hear, I mean, I'm having fun picking on the tests, but 
we have we have two groups who who guide the FEI in those tests. Um, International Trainers Club, International Riders Club, both. So when I'm at those meetings, uh, it was said really, really well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a name thrower, so I'm not going to use names, but uh, a very well-known international trainer who's based in Europe said about the six-year-old test. You know, some people say the six-year-old test is too hard. Four flying changes and 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 and, and yeah. But this trainer had the opposite approach. He said, well, we're talking about FEI tests here, right? So we can ride a Priest and George horse at six years old. That's a lot more flying changes than four. So why is this test so hard? That was his approach. Others said, yeah, but we, want to, we don't want to teach the wrong things to the horses, and that's maybe too challenging and too demanding. So you have, you have both spectrums. In the end, when we asked about these tests, particularly the five-year-old tests, why is it this design? Because of time. Because of time. This is ridiculous. So you can't take 15 seconds away from that and give us a little more right lead canter in the preliminary test? Hello? Exactly, exactly. Okay, let's pick them up. I love his thinking. Wonderful. Yep. Yep. And it's darn good. He's over tracking by two hoofs at least, and his shoulder is free. All right, and the dance begins. Good, I like that, that was clever. That's exactly how I would write the test. I would fake just a beautiful walk, and as soon as I pick up the trot, gather the reins and the dance begins, not too much prior to the trot transition. All right, really good, really good. I just want to do some circles again, okay? Actually, no, why, why don't why we just go ahead as we are? Just trot. Go around the ring one time, prepare your thoughts. You're going to ride on the next diagonal, not here. After your next short side, you're going to ride the diagonal with a medium trot. And then you're going to ride the walk pirouette down here like the test. Let's just see where we are. Good job on the hind legs, really good. Plenty, plenty. Now shoulders up, awesome. And trot, awesome. And circle left. Good. Good. And let's look at the circles in the test again. So it, S, your 10 meter circle. Getting a little flat left hind to right rein, a little more energy without more bend. Energy to that right rein, come. And now, there you go, there you go, that's better. On this, yep, good. This side, watch the outside hind. Good, good. All right, one more medium. And think, I love the medium, you did great. It's the transition coming back where the judge buy into saying, man, that's like a nine. Tease them, there's more, good. Beautiful, that's plenty, just keep that. And the transition back shows you how much control you have. And, and present him, forward, that's the ticket. See judges, my horse is in self-carriage, perfect, that was a good tease, and let him walk there. Very nice. Very nice. 
You know, so I get asked to comment a lot about how much expression for the medium and extensions. And for me, it's, uh, I think those that saw the videos last night also, to me, transitions are what gives confidence to judges. So if you, it's your decision, is how I always answer that question. It's your decision. Because honestly, young horses change moment by moment. And you've got to have the feel in the ring to know what to be asking for. So last night I said many times on the video, there was a save, there was a save, there was a save. Those riders are so in tune with catching things. They're ready for it, yeah? And that's really the goal because they lose balance, they lose concentration really quickly, these guys. So when you're in there, you've got to read the energy you've got. You've got to read the adrenaline. You've got to know how much do I have to ask for on that diagonal for that medium. But remember, if you go for broke and the horse becomes flat and you can't show a transition, this letter, you just showed them. You didn't have control. And then that trot score is going to be a little bit affected. You want to tease them to say, I wonder if there's more in that horse, but man, those transitions were so good. I mean, that's, this horse is in such good self-carriage. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident about the medium. And you heard that last night on the commentary. Yeah. Your first medium, you know, was a little reserved. Uh, um, However, today we gave your trot a 9.8. Yeah, good. That's the comment we want. Versus overrunning the horse. And at times, he got hurried in his front legs and out of balance. 8.2. That's a huge swing. And it's the transitions which give the, the confidence, in my opinion. That's not written in the judging rules. That's Scott's interpretation of what I think gives judges confidence. Is if I see somebody own transitions, I'm very happy. Very happy. I always sacri sacrifice a little bit of expression for good transitions. Because I think transitions are the future. Expression is easy. That's easy. Squeeze, create adrenaline, hang on to the reins, watch the legs fly. But then to do something with that that's beautiful, that's the harder piece. So to be honest, he could be done. Yeah. Unless there's something you would like me to see. Um, sure, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Just how about, you want to look at that just quick? Yeah. Just trot work, no more canter. I think he's been great. And just for everybody here, I think the most responsible thing we have in our training of horses is to respect them. And I know Alyssa thinks the same way. I'm just saying this for everybody. Yeah. I would expect at least three quarters of the horses today to be tired. That's the way it goes. And I often tell people when they go to a horse show, you know, we're kind of unique in this country, you know. Um, a horse show to us is a, is a pretty good truck ride in three days, a three day event. In Europe, it's throw them in the truck, half an hour, show, come home. Also in Wellington, excuse me, that's kind of fun too. Uh, so, these horses, when you do the road trip like this, if you have a show where you're trailering to and putting them in new stables and everything else, like a clinic would be, they're using up a lot of adrenaline by the atmosphere change. And so I always warn people, try not on your schooling day on the first day when they get there and they have a party, try not to get the feeling you want for your test that day because you're overusing up your horse. You'll have nothing the next day. Yeah, your first day is to trust your work at home. Trust your work at home. Your first day is just let them see stuff, ride them around. If they're a little bit having a party, let them have a little bit of a party. Just feel they're, they're, they got some exercise, they saw it all, put them away. And if you want to, you can take them back out again for 15 or 20 minutes again. But short workouts. Don't try to make a, a horse that's all excited, a young horse, all excited. Don't work it for an hour until it's calm. Because I think the next day it's going to bite you. It'll be forging, it'll be behind your leg, it'll, it'll get behind the contact. And you go, oh, but I thought I had to go so, so prepared yesterday. Yeah, over prepared. Okay. <laughs>